Today we're going to take you on a step-by-step -step on how to replace the rear windshield gasket on your F100. First, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. A friendly assistant, razor blade scraper, utility knife, Phillips screwdriver, utility tools, ball end hook tool, windshield rope tool, tape, soapy water, rags, and auto bedding and glazing compound. The first step in this operation is to cut out the old gasket. You will want to carefully insert the blade next to the glass on the exterior side. We recommend using a new blade for this step. Use caution while pulling the blade around the gasket lip, making sure it's cut through the entire length of the gasket. Once your gasket lip is cut all the way around, it's time to remove it from the truck. On this truck, since we cut the gasket on the outside, we'll remove it by tipping it to the inside of the cap. Now we want to thoroughly clean the pinch weld on the truck of any old adhesives or rust. Now would be a good time to address any major rust issues. This will reduce the possibility of leaks later on. After removing the gasket from the glass, use a razor blade scraper to clean the glass edge of dirt and adhesive residue. Now that we've got the truck cleaned up and the glass, we're gonna put the new gasket on. We want our splicing seam in the center bottom of our glass. So we will measure and give a reference point on the glass with a magic marker. You will need to apply downward pressure while rocking the gasket back and forth so the glass seats into the channel. Some soapy water or glass cleaner will help the glass slide into the gasket. Continue this process until the gasket is seated firmly on the glass. All right, so now we've got our gasket installed on our glass. We've got our seam lined up with our center mark on the glass. We're ready to put it back in the truck. We install rope under the gasket lip. This will aid in pulling the lip over the pinch weld when installing the glass. You will overlap the rope at the bottom about six to eight inches and tape the excess rope and the tool to the outside of the glass. Now that we have our rope installed, it's time to set it in the truck. Once the glass is set on the inside, one person should hold pressure on the glass while the other begins to pull the rope from the outside. You should keep pressure at the point where the rope is being pulled. Continue this process until the rope is completely removed and the gasket and the gasket lip is pulled over the pinch weld. It may be necessary to use a hook tool to pull the lip over the edge if it gets stuck. Continue alternating from left to right until the rope meets. This will complete your gasket installation. We hope this video shows you the basics on how to install the back glass seal on your pickup. If you follow along with the steps we provided, you'll be back on the road in no time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest releases. If you have any suggestions or requests on videos you'd like to see on our channel, comment below.